Leviticus chapter 10 begins with these two guys, Nadab and Abihu, that come to the Lord in a way that was not approved or accepted by the Lord. The Bible calls it strange fire. Listen to these verses. Nadab and Abihu, Leviticus chapter 10, verse 1. The sons of Aaron each took his censer and put fire on it, put incense on it, and offered profane or strange fire before the Lord, which he had not commanded them to do. So fire went out from the Lord and devoured them, and they died before the Lord. So this chapter is really about God's holiness, God's boundaries, God giving us a way to know and how to approach a holy God who's without sin. Listen, God has said, whosoever will may come, and he's not willing that any should perish. John 3, 16, God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever. So here's the deal, all may come, and we can come just as we are, but we don't get to come our own way. We only come the way he provided. Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father except through me. Here in the Old Testament, we have God laying the framework that he's a holy God. He says, come just as you are, but come the way I've prepared for you. And you can only come to him through the sacrifice he has given, his son, Jesus Christ. People make up all kinds of ways to come to God, but like Nahab and Abihu, it's strange fire. It's their strange way, if you will. Jesus is the true door, the way God has given to all of us to enter into everlasting life with him. Here in this passage in Leviticus chapter 10, you got this principle, this story of those who want to come to a holy God the way they want to come. Now, certainly once again, we come just as we are, but scripture plainly says, and Jesus himself would say it many times, there's only one way to the Father, and that's through his sacrifice of his son, Jesus Christ. You can't do the Nadab Abihu way, you can only do his way.